especially Venus for love or moon, okay? If you guys need a more personalized reading, you can click the box below, the description box. All my information is there. Just reach out through my website. The February special are the phone readings. So they are $75 for an hour. Normally they're $125. So go ahead and book your slot. Other than that, let's get going. Leo Sag Aries, it is coming in for the fire signs, February 4th through the 10th, in love, please. Leo Sag Aries, all the fire signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's coming in love, please, for the fire signs? February 4th through the 10th. This is a, like I said, this is a bonus. I normally do bi-weeklies for y'all, but I don't know. I just felt like doing it for the week. So this will be, I'm doing them by element. So again, for the fire signs. February 4th through the 10th. All right, you guys, let's cut her into her. So I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot to do your reading, and then I'll clarify it with the Fountain Tarot. All right, let's take a look. All right, fire signs. So the past mutual energy between you and your person, we have the Princess of Cups in reverse. Current mutual energy between you guys, we have the Seven of Cups. Your person... Their current situation is the Prince of Wands. How they feel about you, Fire Signs, is the Knight of Swords. How they want to move forward, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Your advice when dealing with your person is the Five of Swords. Most likely outcome for the next week is the Ace of Swords. All right, let's take a big, fat look. And see what is going on, you guys. All right, the past mutual energy with the Princess of Cups in reverse. I feel like could it be dealing with water. Somebody's just not opening up their emotion or not communicating in the past. There may have been a block in communication or somebody was just a commitment folk or just not offering that emotion. You might be at a stalemate with this person. The current mutual energy between you guys is the Seven of Cups. So more emotion. There's confusion, right? Somebody could have options. We'll clarify and see, but I think there's some confusion because maybe somebody wasn't opening up or communicating. This person's current, current situation is the Prince of Wands. Could be another fire sign. If not, again, they're just not really about a commitment right now because the Prince of Wands is in and out, in and out. It's hard to get this person to, to be in a long-term relationship, right? They may travel, but also it's just, again, it's just kind of somebody that's not really about a commitment. It's, ha it's hard to tie that energy down. And I think, again, that's why in the past you guys saw somebody closed off. Now, this could go vice versa, okay? Just take it how it resonates. But there's some confusion here. Now, how they feel about you deep down is the Nine of Swords. I feel like they know that you are probably losing some sleep over it, right? The Nine of Swords, anxiety, fear, worried about a situation. You know, is this person going to commit to me or are they just in and out and flighty, <clears throat> right? They probably have some anxiety going on as well. Right now, how they want to move forward is the nine of pentacles. So see, exactly. Like this is just, some of y'all are just dealing with somebody that's very independent. They, you know, they're probably maybe more concentrated on job, money, or just kind of getting out there and dating. They don't want to be tied down. And that's why they're the prince of wands right now, whether it's female or male. Your advice is the five of swords. It's to take back your power. So the five of swords can be severance, hurt, mind games. This person probably has you in your head quite a bit. They're probably in their head with that nine of swords. But with the five of swords, this is talking about like putting yourself first, walking your own path, and cutting out any type of manipulation or mind games. Outcome for you guys is the ace of swords. There'll be some type of breakthrough, right? There could be communication. This would be very direct to the point. Some type of clarity, aha moment, okay? And it could be, hey, this person's just not about a long-term commitment. Well, let's take a look and see what's up. So again, I'm going to clarify. We're going to use the Fountain Tarot here to clarify. So this is for fire signs. Leo Sag Aries, February 4th through the 10th. Love energy. Let's clarify your energy and theirs for the next week or so. February 4th through February 10th, 2019. Fire signs. Leo Sag Aries. What's coming in for them? Past, present person situation that they're dealing with, how they feel about this person. How does this person want to move forward with the fire signs? What is the fire signs advice? And what's the outcome between all the fire signs? Leo Sedge, Aries, and their person. February 4th through the 10th. Two more shuffles, and we will clarify it and get going. All right, love energy, please, for all the fire signs. 
All right, you guys, let's cut the deck and let's talk about it. Let's see what's up. Leo Sagittarius. All right, past. We have this Princess of Cups in reverse. Somebody may have been immature, right? You could be dealing with somebody younger or they're just immature when it comes to expressing emotions. It seems like there was a cut in communication, perhaps, or this person's just closed off to expressing emotion, not really doing much. Why is this Princess of Cups in the past for the fire sign mutual energy? And the Six of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody moved away. Again, either this person or you, but this is the past mutual energy. I think both of you were probably, in a sense, pretty closed off to the emotions, and somebody literally moved or moved away. The uh, Six of Swords is all about getting to a calmer place, more so mentally. Now, the current energy is the Seven of Cups, so there's some confusion here, or somebody just has other options. Why is the Seven of Cups here the mutual energy between the fire signs and their person? The Six of Cups, okay, could be somebody from your past. You may have other options, perhaps, with somebody else from your past, or they do. Probably a pretty strong connection between you guys, too. You might have kids with this person. But the current mutual energy is there's just confusion, right, with the Seven of Cups. Does this person want to commit? They're not really acting like it. You know, they have other options. They might go. They might have gone back to somebody from their past, especially with the Six of Swords in the past. This person's current situation is the Prince of Wands. Kind of hard to tie down, right? They're in, they're out. Not really about a long-term relationship. Why is this Prince of Wands here for the Fire Signs person situation? King of Swords, Air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think that they're just very kind of emotionally detached. That King of Swords does cut out things that he or she feels aren't serving them. It's This person is basing decision more on logic and reason, right? Not being overly emotion. They may have cut you out or you them, but they're just detached and icy. Now, how they feel about you deep down is the Nine of Swords. So they're having some anxiety, and they know that you probably are too. Why is the Nine of Swords worry, fear? Why is the Nine of Swords here for how this person feels about the fire signs? The Eight of Cups. See, somebody's walking away here, right? There's just too much anxiety and worry about getting this person to open up or commit, right? Somebody's dealing with a commitment phobe here, and they, some, somebody probably has other options. And so those cups aren't full. So with the Eight of Cups turning your back, walking towards your dream, okay? So they're possibly how they feel about you deep down is that they have to walk away because this whole situation is just causing too much anxiety. That's why they feel moving forward is the Nine of Pentacles. So just being single, independent, maybe concentrating on themselves, right? Nine of Pentacles has a lot of self-worth, money, you know, taking care of their environment. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here how this person wants to move forward? And the Two of Swords, probably blocking out, you know, the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords can be indecisive. They've got the blindfold on, but I don't really feel like this person is indecisive. Again, or it's you, you know, take it how it resonates. But the Two of Swords, this is perhaps blocking the heart, right? Rejecting, blocking, being at a stalemate. So unfortunately, fire signs, you know, you guys can hate on this reading all you want, but it's for somebody. Somebody's dealing with somebody here that doesn't want to be in a long-term commitment. They just want to be single and independent. So they're probably blocking out, even if their intuition is telling them otherwise, with that two of swords. Your advice is the five of swords. So why is the fire sign's advice, the five of swords, the two of cups? Okay, so with the two of cups, again, we have two of cups here, strong soulmate, six of cups. You could have children with this person, but mm, I'm not really feeling that. With the Two of Cups here, this is, you know, you could have another partnership come in too, um, but with the Five of Swords, you're either dealing with somebody who's being manipulative, or really your best advice here is to, for you to be the third source and then gain your power back, look out for yourself now, right? Walk your own path with the Two of Cups. Let's see what this is. Why is this Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here for the advice, for the fire signs? And the Eight of Swords, okay, because you're really in your head about it, right? You feel very trapped to this situation. Again, either you or the other person. A lot of swords in this reading, so a lot of mental energy, all right? Somebody's feeling very stuck and trapped to this situation, probably because it feels like a soulmate or a very strong partnership with that Two of Cups. But they're, again, they're either being manipulative and playing some mind games, and you guys just need to take your power back. Now, the outcome is this Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords the outcome here for the fire signs? Why is the Ace of Swords here in the outcome? Ace of Swords, there could be some type of communication or a breakthrough. Also, though, the Ace of Swords can be severance, okay? 
Uh, why is this Ace of Swords here in the outcome for the fire signs? And we have the Four of Wands in reverse, right? Again, like this person's just not manifesting a commitment. Like the Four of Wands in reverse, you know, there's a lack of, uh, of, you know, stability and a lack of celebration. It's a lack of like coming together and, and taking a, a relationship to the next level. This person is just more about kind of getting out there and dating, moving on, moving on, moving on, right? They're not really about long-term relationship. And I think that you guys will have a breakthrough in this. There could be a communication about it. Right, but also too, I feel like with the Ace of Swords, somebody may just sever ties here because there just isn't long-term relationship. Why the Four of Wands in reverse and the outcome for the Fire Signs? Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So it could be a marriage for some of you guys. This is normally the marriage or the family card, right? But breaking away from that, some unhappiness, unfortunately, within the home or within this relationship. All right, why? Uh, give me another card on the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is this Ten of Cups in reverse in the outcome for the fire signs? The Seven of Coins, like really reflecting on the past, you know? I've put in a lot of energy. I've nurtured it. I've loved it. You know, what's come of this? The Seven of uh, Coins could also be that you or the other person is still invested, right? They're kind of waiting around because there is an investment here. And for some of you, it does involve children because we do have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups, right? Especially if you have children with this person, there is an investment, right? So some of you might still be kind of waiting or reflecting on the past. Why is the seven of coins here in the outcome for the fire signs? The lovers, okay? I think, I feel like somebody in the situation, if not both of you are really, eh, I say both of you, I think it's like one-sided here. I feel like one person really, really wants it and the other person doesn't. So again, you'll have to take that how it resonates. We have the lovers there, which is sign of Gemini. It's being very, very much in love. It's, again, another soulmate card, but somebody's making a choice or a decision here. We'll see what it is. And with the Seven of Wands, you know, again, it's being blocked out. It's being defensive and guarded with the Seven of Wands. This is y'all's energy, okay? It's kind of like taking that stand, right? And it's also fighting for what you want. Like, I think somebody in the equation, too, and the outcome is still fighting for what they want. We have that energy of waiting and reflecting and also, like, being deeply in love or feeling like it's a soulmate with the lovers. And the seven of wands, it's just, it's fighting for what you want and not backing down. But I also feel like somebody's very guarded and, and possibly rejecting. Why the seven of wands? Why is the seven of wands here in the outcome? And justice, yeah, so it's like a legal situation. Like justice can talk about contracts within marriage, right? Could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Because somebody wants justice here in the outcome. Like somebody wants to bring balance back to the situation. Could be, you know, for reconciliation or an apology or something like that. Um, and judgment, see? <laughs> yeah. So I feel like for some of you, somebody will apologize and try to bring back some type of resurrection with justice and judgment. For a lot of you, this definitely is a marital situation, okay? And somebody in the outcome here wants to revive it. And with justice and judgment, it could happen, but I would be cautious because I feel like this person is still kind of that knight of wands, right? In and out, in and out, not really about a commitment. And then we have death, sign of Scorpio. Right. Let's clarify death because death can be the ending of it. Right. There's no coming back from death or it can be a resurrection um, within a relationship, like letting the old die and opening up a new chapter. It's a transformation, big changes. We have three major arcana on top of each other there. So fire signs, you guys are going through some big changes with death, judgment, and then the Knight of Swords, okay? So I feel like with the Knight of Swords, after death, I feel like somebody is, you know, departing. The Knight of Swords is very, very fast energy. It could be somebody's coming back into rushing in, but you have to be careful because the Knight of Swords can be very, very rushed energy to do what? To go through some type of transformation, second chance, reconciliation here. Um, but be careful with that. It can be kind of aggressive energy as well. What's this Knight of Swords? What's this Knight of Swords? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And then the Two of Coins. Like somebody's weighing up their options. Because there could have been some kind of disagreements or drama. Especially if somebody in the scenario wanted to commit and somebody else didn't. With the Two Coins, it shows in the outcome. Somebody's still weighing up their options. And they might be juggling. Again, we kind of saw that energy here. So for those of you that like somebody comes back, it's like, yeah, yeah, let's make it right. Justice, you know, judgment, death. Those are all cards 
of like a resurrection, a second chance, and going through a transformation, it could happen very quickly. And with the Knight of Swords, it could happen to where maybe it's rushed and people aren't really thinking, you know, about the future or the outcome of it. And it shows that somebody is still not 100% sure with the Two of Coins. They're weighing up their options, trying to make a decision, but they could also still be juggling other people. Okay, because remember, they're the Knight of Swords. <laughs>